Hey everyone, this video is about the Casio FX 9860G Slim, which was part of the 9860 series of monochrome graphing calculators. It came on the market in 2006 and is currently discontinued. Uh, and the Slim was a cult device amongst Casio calculator fans. It has a unique compact clamshell design and has a great high contrast backlit uh, LCD screen. And it shares the same general power and programmability as the rest of the series, all of which have a more traditional form factor. Uh, the current calculator in the series, the 9860G3, is overall very similar in functionality to the Slim, but it does support MicroPython as an additional programming option, which is nice. But as we'll see, the Slim has a lot of great programming options. It includes Casio Basic and supports a C language SDK created by Casio. And there are a bunch of interesting third-party languages and calculator environments available. Physically, the housing of Slim is all plastic, and it does look and feel a little plasticky. Uh, the hinge has a fair amount of friction to it and can open to slightly beyond 180 degrees. Uh, you can also use the Slim with the uh, screen facing towards you, like a laptop, which is useful. Or you can lay it flat down on the desk. Uh, and the screen will angle slightly away from you. Uh, the Slim has a 128 by 64 pixel display, the same as the other models in the series. And although the display on the Slim has quite chunky bezels, it's very high contrast and has an anti-reflective screen. Uh, and the display also supports a backlight, uh, which can be toggled using this key on the keyboard. And that's quite useful in low light situations. Uh, the keyboard on the Slim is logically laid out, so uh, the top row includes a higher level menu button uh, and exit key and six function keys. And then uh, below that is a row of uh, maths functions and there's also a single uh, yellow shift key and then alpha key. Uh, being in landscape format, I tend to use the keyboard with two hands, and the cursor arrows are on the bottom uh, left, which I find works well for me, but some other people don't like. And like most Casio calculators, the key action is acceptable without being great. Uh, on the right side of the calculator is a micro USB port and a charger port. And uh, if we flip the calculator over, uh, we can see that it has uh, four feet uh, to stop it slipping. Uh, and there's also a battery compartment for two triple A's uh, and a reset switch. Uh, and there's eight screws, and I'll take them out now so we can see the internals. So this is the main PCB of the Slim that's under the keyboard. Uh, the processor under this blob of epoxy is an Atachi Super H3 or SH3 processor. And it's wired to the PCB using a chip on board design. And the SH3 is an interesting 32-bit Risto architecture with uh, fixed length 16-bit instructions. And I'll include a link to, uh, to some documentation in the video description. Uh, you can also see on the board a Spansion 1.5 megabyte flash memory chip. Uh, and there's also a fairly generous 64K AMIC SRAM chip. Uh, on the right side of the board is the USB and power jack. And you can also see the flexible uh, display ribbon that calls through the movable hinge. On this one, it's also interesting to see the uh, quality control marks uh, where staff in the factory have manually checked the functionality of components. So on the Slim, the menu button brings up a graphical list of all the apps on the device, and these can either be built-in apps or transferred to the device via USB, and you can navigate around the menu uh, with cursor keys. Uh, the main calculator application uh, on the Slim is the Run app. Uh, and this is algebraic and supports textbook like display of formula. And calculations are performed internally to 15 decimal places, but results are rounded to 10 digits before display. And many functions are accessible via menus. Uh, so say we wanted to sum the squares of the numbers from 1 to, to uh, 100. Uh, we would uh, pick the sigma function from the math menu. Uh, and then we could enter in our variable x uh, using the alpha key, uh, and then our range uh, using the cursor keys. 
Uh, and then we'd enter the formula we wish we want to uh, sum over. Uh, and you can use the arrow keys uh, to access uh, the history. Uh, and uh, functions are entered uh, prefix style. The sum also uh, supports numeric and string variables. Uh, so we could assign our answer uh, to the variable uh, y, like so. And then use y in an expression. And the sum supports a wide variety of data types, including strings, complex numbers, fractions, lists, and uh, matrices. And the complex number support is pretty well integrated uh, with real functions. So uh, we can take, for example, uh, the square root of negative 1. Uh, we can also raise uh, real numbers to complex powers, uh, which is useful if you're doing electrical engineering. Um, matrices can also support complex elements, uh, assuming you have the 2.0 version of the firmware installed. Fractions on the slim are entered uh, using the A over uh, AB over C key, uh, and uh, so quite easy to use. And you can switch results between fractions and decimal using the F to D key. Uh, and you can quickly create matrices uh, via the matrix menu uh, within the math menu. Uh, and the sum supports an integer mode uh, with binary, octal, decimal, and hex values. Uh, and you can switch into this uh, via the modes uh, setup in uh, the setup menu. Uh, so for example, let's pick uh, decimal as our default value. Uh, and then the calculator app uh, runs in an in integer mode. And in integer mode, it has three different uh, menus available. Uh, so the first menu allows you to specify numbers in uh, various bases. Uh, the second menu uh, provides bitwise operations. And the third menu allows you to uh, convert between values. So uh, let's convert, say, 100 uh, to hex. Uh, and we could also convert to binary. Uh, binary mode on the slim can only support numbers up to 16 uh, bits. And the slim has many apps that you might expect on the graphing calculator. Uh, there's a statistics app uh, where you can enter data and perform statistical operations. Uh, there's an e-activity application for viewing documents designed for student exercises. Uh, there's a simple spreadsheet app. Uh, there's a graphing app. Uh, there's an app for uh, dynamic graphing uh, that shows you the effect of changing parameters on a function. Uh, there's an app for generating tables of data based on formula. Uh, there's an app for calculating recursive functions like the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, there's a Conix app. Uh, there's an equation solver, and there's also a time value of money app for uh, financial solutions. And the slim comes with a version of Casio Basic that it shares with Casio's color graphing calculators such as the FX CG50, and it's more expressive and powerful than other versions of Casio Basic. Uh, so for example, here is a program to search for the solution to the N Queen's chess problem. Uh, and I'll start it running now. And uh, this one uses a uh, one-dimensional matrix to define an eight-item array. And you can see that the sum supports quite a range of control statements. So uh, there's do while loops, uh, there's while loops, uh, and there's also a for loop 
uh, that is used to um, print out the solution, uh, also using the triangle symbol. And this uh, version of the program takes about 17 uh, seconds to run. And interestingly, uh, because there is an C SDK for the 9860 series, uh, there's actually an open source project called CBASIC, uh, which is a re-implementation of uh, the Casio BASIC, uh, but with um, that is highly optimized. Uh, so if I run the C uh, basic version, it only takes three seconds, uh, six times faster. And the availability of the C SDK has led to a proliferation of interesting apps on the 9860 series. Another notable one is the Reckon app, uh, which is created by the maintainer of the voidware.com site. And uh, Reckon is an alternative calculator environment that supports uh, features like uh, RPN mode and uh, high precision arithmetic and 3D graphing. So I'm a big fan of the Slim. The combination of its compact folding form factor, its powerful functionality and high contrast display makes it a really practical day-to-day -day calculator. And although it doesn't have a CAS uh, colors or 3D graphing, many people would use a computer for that type of functionality. And I appreciate the hackability of the Slim. Although I didn't demo it, uh, Casio C SDK is fairly easy to use and there are a lot of interesting apps developed for the platform. It's also puzzling that Casio didn't continue making devices in this folding form factor. Uh, because I feel it works fairly well. Can't think of another graphing calculator that easily fits in my pocket. And having no direct successor means the Slim is quite a unique device and uh, it's worth tracking one down. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be alerted of new videos.